Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Assassin's Creed Odyssey. It's episode number two and I'm trying to get a hang of things here with my new protagonist Cassandra. So without further ado, I would say we're going to continue with our quest. Um, I'm currently on top of this little hill because I synchronized the viewpoint. And I kind of want to try one of these uh, jumps without uh, actually landing in a haystack, so... If I just jump off here, it will hurt me, but it's not going to kill me, right? I mean, Bayek was really susceptible to fall damage. Yeah, he definitely took more fall damage than this. And I died on more than one occasion trying to jump off a high spot or because I miscalculated a jump but okay um i'm down here now but that's not exactly where i have to go right i mean i have my quest mark over here so i guess i'll just head over to that location and we will check out uh, some of these um, side missions later maybe uh, let's focus on the main story for the time being also can i like call my horse now that I have one. Yep, there we go. Onward. I also wonder why it's called Phobos. I mean, it's like the mountain climbing horse. So why is it called Fear? Let's go. Wouldn't that be a better name for like the warrior horse? Also, speaking of horses, um, I actually have some stuff now that I didn't have before. Not just a new mount, but also a bunch of weapons. Um, I think these are like rewards that you get for collecting points. Um, and I think the reason why um, they didn't pop up uh, in the first episode is because I was playing offline and I forgot to go offline uh, when uh, starting the game this time. I usually uh, play offline because it's the easiest way to uh, permanently remove these uh, user photos from the map, which can be kind of spoilery. Um, but yeah, when I started up this episode, all of these things appeared in my inventory. Um, I'm not sure if I actually want to use any of them. Some of them are actually like too high for me, so I can't use them. I mean, this one is better than my current one, but it's kind of anachronistic, a Milanese sword in ancient Greece, so maybe I'm just going to um, ignore all of these bonus items. Yeah, I have like um, a different horse over here. Rare Phobos skin. Oh, so it's a horse always called Phobos. It's not this particular horse, but no matter what horse you pick, it's always going to be Phobos. <laughs> and I can just give the horse a different skin, which is a weird kind of imagery. <laughs> because, I mean, <laughs> the horse literally has a skin. And I'm just going to give it a new one. That's strange. Yeah, um, as you can see, uh, all of these items are either too high in level, or they're like very special items like Ezio's boots. So um, I think I'm just going to stick with the normal stuff for now. Also, um, give me this over here. But yeah, um, let's head over to our quest marker. Come on. Maybe once we finished like the first main mission we will explore a little bit and check out a few side missions but for now let's help phoebe let's go oh, there they are i'll sneak up on them i like this good idea let's do that also let's see if uh, Icaros can tell us anything about this. Okay, there's like a few thugs. And, oh, it's, um, no, it's not Cyclops. Perdix. The thugs are just part of his gang. Alright. 
Let's see what we can do here. Well, first of all, I walk into a cutscene. Or I'll tighten those ropes. She'll make good ransom drachmi for the Cyclops. No one's gonna buy me from you. They're all poor. Mm. Keep quiet, Phoebe. All right. So, um, you want me to sneak up on them, right? Detection. Enemies will investigate if they spot you in a restricted area. Yes, I, I expected that much. Crouch, become less visible and hide in vegetation. This tall grass will keep me hidden. Alright. Can I assassinate this guy? Probably. Assassinate. Assassinate unsuspecting enemies by pressing F. However, if your assassin damage is not enough to kill the enemy, you will stealth attack and enter conflict. Okay, this is basically like it was in the previous game. But I mean, he's just a level one guy. The rest Surely of I get away. Okay. Now I gotta kill the remaining enemies. Right. I can whistle. Hmm. That wasn't a bird. Hmm. I'm sure it came from here. Ugh. Ah! Ugh. Okay, let's see. Can oh. I lure you over Guess here? I better take a look. Yep, here we go. That Marcos is going to be next. I guess it will. Oh. Ah. Alright. Let's loot Drachme, Precious Gems, Iron Metal. The other guy didn't have anything to pick up, apparently. Alright. So, what am I going to do about you? Um, she's probably too far away. Yep. So maybe I can sneak up on her from... Oh, she's actually looking away. Okay, this should make it easier. There we go. Time to get Phoebe out of here. Cassandra, I'm here. Untie me. Yep. I'm on it. Also, first loot, then freeing the prisoners. Free prisoner. There we go. Okay, she completed. Are you all right? It wasn't so bad. Last time they put a cloth in my mouth so I'd stop mm -hmm. biting. Phoebe, just be careful. You're alone now since since my parents died. I'm okay. I've got you, and you've got me and Marcos. <laughs> We're your family, right? Oh, are we getting like a flashback now? <coughs> You'll have to be stronger than that! Don't give in! Let him have it! <laughs> got you! <laughs> Again! Up! Yes, Pater. A Spartan rises as soon as they have fallen. Ready your stuff. Widen your stance. A soldier grounds themselves. Hmm? Good. Good. Approach me. Ah! That's enough, Nikolaus. The sun's going down. Time to eat, don't you think? <laughs> what are we eating tonight? Tonight we are having baby Alexios. <laughs> <laughs> and what a feast he will be. No, not him. Take me instead. I'm tasty. Yes, yes, you're all sweet as honey. Now, come inside. The lamb's turning black. Here. Back him in his bed. Yes, Pater. Cassandra. You are my greatest pride. Remember that. You will bring this family 
to glory. Go. So Alexios, like the other protagonist, is her brother. That's interesting. I wonder if the age difference is reversed if you pick Alexios. Is Cassandra then the younger sibling or is right. the scene going to be different? You worry too much. <laughs> you don't worry enough. We'll be alright if we watch out for each other. Which reminds me, the thug said you should watch your back. What they say? They said the Cyclops put a big bounty on you. Read. Talos the Stonefist wants you dead. Talos the mercenary? Am I ever not in trouble? <laughs> Better get him before he gets you. I hear he's really mean. Well, that might be good advice, actually. I'll find my way back to town. Here! Talos the Stonefist has just what I need today. Another broken nose. I'm going to have to take care of that. You are hunted. Bounty hunters like Talos are hostile mercenaries who will hunt you down as long as you have a bounty. Bounties can usually be paid off, but the Cyclops won't accept payoffs. Oh, so this is kind of a little bit like notoriety, I guess. All right, open mercenaries menu. This is new though. Mercenaries. In the mercenaries menu, review your position, the rewards for each tier, as well as the status, strength and weaknesses of all known mercenaries and bounty hunters. Since Talos is higher level, you should avoid him until you level up and become strong enough to fight him. Alright. So, I guess this is kinda like the Fulakitai hunting you. I see. Talos the Stonefist. Tier 9. The journey begins. Earn economic benefits for moving to higher tiers by eliminating mercenaries of higher rank. Huh. Okay, but not all, not all mercenaries are hostile, apparently. Right? Detailed mercenary benefits. Okay. Well, I, I guess I, I have to stay out of his way for now, because I, I can't really do anything about him. Um, and the rest is all undiscovered. I mean, it does say where I might be able... Oh, I see. Blacksmith. A talented Meteos will have 10% better luck at finding great items in the world. Okay, so tier 9 is actually the lowest tier. I see. Alright, well, um, that is definitely new. Cassandra the Eagle Bearer. <laughs> ah, interesting title. But okay. A fight with Talos. Let's have a look at that quest. Level 5. Okay. Your target is currently 4 levels above you. Okay, so I, I guess I'm going to um, ignore that quest for the time being. Alright, he's over here. So I guess I'll just stay out of his way. Anyway, um, what am I supposed to do for my current quest? Uh, Breaking Duris' wares may encourage him to pay his debt. Killing Duris is always an option. <laughs> well, maybe I will I will start by um, breaking his wares and try not to kill him. Okay, um, let's head back to... Um, no, I don't have to go back to the vineyard. I have to go to wherever this Duris person is. So, um, let me get my horse and we will move on. Let's go. We're following roads. Um, it's nothing too new. Let's go. And probably faster than trying to climb over the rocks. Um, yes, this is supposed to be the road. <laughs> Alright, we have some kind of settlement over here. Let's investigate. I 
I can see like a blacksmith on my map. And Sami. Other items. Riz will be at his shop. All right. Let's see where. Where is my target? Stealing items. If people see you stealing items, they will react, and your bounty will be raised. Oh, okay, I can't. I can't pick up this stuff because it's stealing. Well, that is an annoying amount of realism. <laughs> Usually, I could always loot everything that I found in the world, and now you will um, put a bounty on my head for it. All right, I see. Got a job, Cassandra? Are you talking to me? Hang on a second. I, I would like to talk to the merchant. Or blacksmith, that is. Buy, sell, engrave. Upgrade. What does engrave do? I have no idea. Huh. So much new stuff that I have to learn. Okay, maybe we will talk to the guy first. Hello, Luris. Business looks good. Tell Marcos to come down here himself, if he wants his money. Huh? No, but I'm mm -hmm. here now. Look, I was a little late paying. Now Marcos says I owe him double because of interest. I don't have it to spare. Then you shouldn't have borrowed the money. You're right, double is too much. I don't know, what exactly did you agree upon? I mean, if, if that's what you agreed, then you shouldn't be complaining now. But I mean, I only want my money, so I don't really care if Marcos gets like twice the amount of money back. I just want what I am owed. Double? That's robbery. <laughs> that's what I told Marcos. <laughs> you know him, he's extreme. If you pay him, this will all be over with. You told Marcos I've paid enough already. I won't bow to 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 a mercenary or to someone foolish enough to borrow money from the Cyclops. From the Cyclops? That's how he bought his oh, vineyard. Great. Look, I know you'd be dead without Marcos. What with him taking you off the street as a kid. Oh. But you know what he's doing is crazy. Hmm. I won't leave without the drug man. I leave you alone now. Yeah, I kind of want that money. Malaka. Still, that doesn't change the drachme you owe. Face it, once the Cyclops gets hold of you, you'll both be dead. <laughs> well, we'll see about that. So, um... Since I don't really want to kill this guy, I guess I will just try to... Uh... Destroy his wares. Can I just... <laughs> like... <laughs> hey, stop! That's my stuff! <laughs> um... Oh, um, well, I, I didn't Fine. realize that is yours. someone Just would leave. get angry if I do Pleasure that. Pleasure doing business with you, Luris. <laughs> Keep my name off your lips. I don't want the Cyclops coming after me for the debt you can't pay. Okay. Well, I mean, the, the guard over here got um, a little bit angry with me for a moment, but apparently he forgot about it now. Either way, I got the money, so um, I guess I'm good. And I can return to Marcos, but I guess since I'm here in this little uh, settlement, I will look around a little bit. Blacksmith, ship dock, Sami, message board, Melisane cave. Um, yeah, let's uh, have a look at this marker over here. Apparently it's on top of this place. Um, I thought it was right here. <laughs> I guess I was wrong. And that, no, that's just the message board over here. I guess this is just the name of this uh, location. But there isn't actually... Anything I can do here at the moment? Can I talk to any of these guys? Nah, doesn't doesn't look like it. All right. In that case, um, how about we check out 
The message board. I guess Sami is just the name of the town in general and it's not like any specific location here, right? Okay. Let's see. Um, I guess we have a statue of Hermes here, the messenger. I don't like the look of you. What? What is your problem? Don't, don't be so rude. <laughs> Mercenary work. Cephalonia Island, recommended level 2. As Cassandra had learned, any job is a good job, no matter how small. Elos, a Cephalonian armorer, needed wool first for the war effort, and you, Cassandra, could, could provide them easily. Okay, I mean, that is uh, a pretty easy task, I would uh, say. Um, of course, this is probably the kind of stuff that I will be doing off camera or I will just skip entirely. Um, but I may on occasion do it just to to get some uh, XP. Sami is the oldest city on Cephalonia, an island reputed for the wood of its abies, abies Cephalonica fir trees. Okay, so this is basically just um, uh, the place itself. Okay, well, um, looks like I have uh, checked out everything here. Uh, let's return to Marcos. And I guess I'm going to call my horse again. Right, Phobos. Off we go now. Off we go. Uh, what's the best way to get out of here, though? Right, apparently Marcus is not on his vineyard anymore, but he's somewhere yeah. in the vicinity. So Hello. it's going to cut down the time I need to get to him. You're running out of time until the Cyclops comes for you, Malaka. He wants his money. Could I have an extension? When he sails back to Cephalonia, he'll come and break you as soon as he docks, if you don't get it. Now, let's be civil. You can't oh hide dear. behind your glories, Mistios forever, Marcos. He'll kill you, the mercenary, and that little runt girl that hangs around. Of course, not a problem. I'll get the drachmi. Uh. Good. Or I'll come and watch the Cyclops feed you to his goats. Ah, Cassandra, I can tell from the smile on your face, Vuris <laughs> has paid you your drachmi. Who's smiling? I just heard where you got the drachmi for the vineyard. Are you out of your fucking mind? We can get the money back, can't we? I'm sure it's possible. <laughs> well, I mean, sure, it's possible, but it's probably, like, very dangerous. It's impossible, we can try, we'll get the drachma. Well, I suppose I, I gotta help this poor guy. Or he will be unt up until his head in troubles. It will take a lot of work. And even then, I'm not sure. We have no option but to try. Then you'd better be willing to help. I won't do all the dirty work. <sighs> I long for the old days. Remember them? <laughs> they were simple. You had nothing, young and alone. <laughs> and I had everything. And I gave you the world. Cephalonia, in the palm of your hand. Okay. <laughs> Alexios! Oh, great. I guess her family is dead. Like with each good assassin, or well, I guess she's not an assassin because there's no order. So she's not going to be one, but... A dead family is like a necessity for every present uh, street protagonist, apparently. Uh, So this is how she got here. 
He escaped on a boat. Don't see fishes like you every day, huh? <laughs> oh! Ha! You hungry? How about we make a deal? I do something for you. You do a few things for me. Everybody wins. Best offer you're gonna get. Probably. Think about it. Wait! <laughs> Kefalonia. <laughs> Some gift. You were nothing without Marcos. <laughs> and look how far we've come. From an orphan on the streets to a Mystheos with a Havel. And now the Cyclops will take everything away. I can't protect you from him forever. He'll kill me too. Oh, don't be scared of him. And look at you! How could I go up against him? With what weapons? A rusty spear? A broken bow? There you are. Skulking around the temple won't save you from me, Marcos. Drusilla! I was just talking about you. You were? I need that wood, Marcos. These new bows will be the talk of the island. I can't make anything with those bandit malakes stopping the wood shipments. Of course you can't. Why, I was just filling my friend Cassandra in on the details. She already has a plan to deal with these bandits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this person is unbelievable. Anyway, um, I don't, you know me, or no reply at all. Well, I don't know, I guess I'll just play along. You know me. Always prepared. What did I tell you? She will leave no stone unturned. I don't care who does it, but someone better got those bandits. Today. A wonderful idea. I, for one, uh, need to rush home. Cassandra, I've cooked up a plan for our Cyclops dilemma. See me when you have time. Right. If you want your wood, you'll have to fix my broken bow yes. first. Hmm. Please. I usually only pay when the deed is done, but shit's moving at a snail's pace. Follow me. These balls will make me rich as Chrysos. <laughs> They're that good, are they? War's brewing. The Athenians need good bows if they want to hold off the Spartans. Everybody benefits, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Who are you? Marcos? You should be tired of this small-time shit. You'd make a fortune in this war. Plus, I hear you're a secret Spartan. A secret Spartan. That was a long time ago. I'm a Kefalonian. Right. Hand it over. There you go, good as new. That bow is as strong as Heracles himself. Give it a try. Shoot your arrow at those dummies. Hold right mouse button to aim. Okay, looks like this is going to work more or less like in the same game. Press left mouse button for quick shot. Hold for charged shot. It's also thankfully pretty much the same mechanic as in Horizon Zero Dawn, so I won't get confused uh, with that at least. There we go. That was easy enough. And it completes the quest. Ooh, upgrade. Press U to open ability menu. Alright, yes, I had a look at the abilities here and there's quite a few that I want to take because some of the skills that you had in um, Origins are actually skills you have to learn first. So let's see, what do we want to take here? Six cent, time slows up, for up to five seconds when you're spotted by enemies. Yeah, I mean, that was pretty much standard in Origins, and I feel I want the skill back. Um, this one doesn't seem quite as important at the moment. Um, I definitely want this one back um, pretty soon, Predator Shot. I mean, this is the one that I could do with a Predator Bow in Origins, right? Uh, Bull Rush, okay, that's uh, the skill we had at the beginning of the game when we played as Leonidas. This one is obviously something that I want to have at some point, the Sparta Kick. 
Charged Heavy Attack, Shadow Assassin, Assassination and Knockout Damages are increased by 20%, automatically loot the enemy after the assassination, that's not bad. Venomous Attacks, maybe not my priority at the moment. And yeah, this one, Revelation, Hold V to Reveal Secrets, again, um, I feel this is an important skill. So at least when it comes to the base skills, I kind of want, well, most of them, but at some point I kind of have to specialize myself um, on, on some of these trees, probably. So, what do I start with? Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm going to pick this one first. For, like, easier assassinations. Let's do it. And maybe the predator shot next. And then some of these warrior skills so I can... Uh, Kick ass in combat, right? But okay, um, looks like we are done with this quest. And I have multiple new ones. Okay, let's let's have a look at that. An eye for an eye. In order to pay his debts, Marcus hatched another get-rich-quick scheme. Steal from the Cyclops himself. But it's level 3, so I'm going to wait with this one. Um... Lumbering along. In true form, Marcus didn't fulfill his promise to the boyer. Boyer? I, I don't know that this is actually a word. Apparently it's a word. Drusilla, to solve her bandit problem, of course, he was happy to volunteer Cassandra for the job of getting her wood back. Okay, I feel this is the one I should be doing next, especially since it's like really close. Um, by the way, did I get any new stuff that I actually want to use? I have a dagger, but no, a heavy blunt, swift dagger, no, this is a dagger, okay, it's a dagger, but I think I'm going to keep my sword. Um, again, I, I'm not going to wear these because they don't really fit uh, the theme, even like the viking helmet here is um, not really fitting for this time period. I haven't received anything new here. Okay, I have a bow now. Improved hunter bow. Already equipped this one. Um, and again, these are just all the bonus reward that I got. Alright, well, um, let's find Drusilla again and let's talk to her about the new task. Fair is fair. Are you going to get my wood? Those fucking bandits need a thrashing. Well, I, I intend to do so. I'll stop the bandits. Fair is fair. I'll fix your wood problem. Your wood Finally! Problem. Marcos sure is lucky he's got you as his scapegoat. I guess so. So, can you tell me where to find the bandits? Any idea where these bandits are? I'm not a tracker, I'm a boyer. They're in the mountains somewhere, that much I know. I'd check close to the lumber camps. Okay, the mountains close to the lumber camps. Um, so what's so special about the wood? There's plenty of trees around. Why do you need this type of wood? I've been working on a new type of bow. It's more flexible, so it lasts longer and can fire at greater range. Only a very special kind of wood that grows high in the mountains will do. All right. Um, sounds good to me. I guess I'll get going. I'll take care of the bandits. Make sure that you do. And be quick about it. Right. Have patience, quit moaning. Yeah, good things take time. I'll deal with these bandits and get you the wood you need as fast as I can. Have patience. It won't take long. Ha! <laughs> If you knew how long Marcos has been feeding me excuses, you wouldn't be saying that. All right, I did something for you. Now you do something for me. Get my wood. Right. Find and investigate the ambushes. What happened during the attacks? Well, first of all, I, I need to find out where I have to look for the bandits. Um, I mean, she said it's in the mountains. So, I guess somewhere around here. I guess I'm just going to explore the um, 
surrounding areas a little bit and see what else I can find. Um, and sooner or later I'm sure I will find um, the destination of my quest. I mean, it's not too far away, right? Maybe it's even like marked somewhere. Yep, it is. Okay. Um, let's grab our horse. Let's go in the general direction of this quest. And let's see if Icarus can find anything of interest. Ooh, there's random enemies inside the mountain. And there's a cave over here and a guy is standing right next to it. What's going on there? And I don't wanna I don't want to have a look at that. <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, I can't actually talk to him, so... I guess I... I won't find out. Hmm... It's kinda hard to tell what's going on down there, and if I can, like, try to jump down here... I'm not sure where I will land. I mean, it looks like there's actually water inside, inside uh, the cave. And this over here looks like a place to jump down from. Let's do it. Yep, it's water. All right. Um, let's look around this cave a little bit. Um, looks like an opening over here. Oh, is there like anything in the water? Yep, there's definitely something in the water. And I can actually take all of this stuff without getting accused of stealing. And I definitely need like um, the reveal skill. It's very unusual to play this game without being able to highlight loot and stuff so that is definitely a skill I want back as fast as possible but now let's uh, check out this place over here do I have like a torch that would be great oh what is going on here? That was strange. Um, I hope there's some air somewhere at the end of this cave. Oh, there's jellyfish in here. Interesting. But yeah, um, since I don't know if I can actually uh, leave this cave on the other side. Let's return to our air pocket here. <laughs> I feel um, before I start exploring caves and such, I should make sure I have like my scan and reveal ability. That'll make it easier for me to actually find useful loot in here. Okay, let's just leave this place and I will come back later. To investigate it more closely. Anyway, what kind of stuff did I actually get? I mean, I picked up some stuff, but I didn't really see what it was. Bottomless Lake, Kefalonia. Taking the plunge, everyone on the island thinks this is the deepest dive, but there is a lake in the coast of Koliadai that is rumored to be bottomless. If you are able to dive as far as the woman in marble, you will be able to claim me. Okay, is this like a, a riddle, a puzzle, and I need to find the location for a treasure? Probably, right? Okay, now I have like a new uh, waste uh, item. Traveler's belt. 
again, it seems to be... Well, it does have more armor, so I guess I'm going to uh, wear this. Also looks a little bit better than the previous one. Okay, um, let's head back to the road and we will continue towards our target. Vamos! Let's go! Let's go indeed. Here's where the ambush happened. I should look around. Is that a wolf? I think it is. Well, I need to kill some wolves anyway for my other quest, right? So, that's useful. Also, um, it seems like that Talos guy is nearby at least he's showing up on my compass so i'm a little bit worried here i'm not I'm not seeing him though so wherever he is apparently he's not that close let's have a look the at this the cart was emptied then left behind the thief can't have gotten far with that much cargo well um can we find out where he went have you seen anything around here? <laughs> Apparently he doesn't really care for whatever happened here. Oh, um, well, this person wasn't quite as lucky. Shot in the back while fleeing. Must be the work of bandits. Hmm, obviously. What else do we got around here? Okay, this is no longer the investigation zone. So it's gotta be somewhere in this area. Again, I feel that having my reveal skill would be helpful here. Well, that's a lot of footprints. A group left this area, headed west. Alright. Icarus, while hovering. Aim Icarus at enemies to take them so they can be more easily seen. Okay, uh, that's pretty much the same as before. Lumbering along, kill the bandits. The shipment was attacked by bandits. They can't have gone further than 250 meters from the ambush. A large group of large group left towards the west of the lumber yard. Okay, uh, this is the west. Let's that was the abandoned camp I'm looking for. All right. Found it. Oh, there he is. Talos. Well, he's actually kind of close. But as long as he's in the other direction, I guess um, I can focus on the bandits here. Alright. Let's see what we can do with these guys. Um, okay, that's a wolf. Be able to avoid I need to them, sneak though. Them. Right. Now let's make sure we have tacked all potential enemies. Well, I really only see one at the moment. Oh, but there's more over here. Okay. Yep, there's actually quite a few. Including, like, the leader over there. Oh, and we have even more over here. But, I mean, the episode is getting kind of long already, and since there's quite a few enemies, this might take some time. So, I guess I'll do it in the next episode. So, um, let's make a cut here, as usual. 
Thank you for watching and see you again next time.